In this video, we will show you how to grant, select, insert, update and delete on a table in Sybase server. I am verifying the list of the logins available in my Sybase server. So I have 11 Sybase logins available. Out of these, 9 are user logins. Now I am going to grant, select on the table EMP. First verify whether the table EMP exists or not. Select name from sys objects where name equals to EMP. So the table exists. Now I am going to grant select permission to the user James to grant any permission to the table view or any other objects first we have to add the user to the database sp underscore add user then go now i have added user to the my current database that is r2 scores we can verify the list of the users added to this database by running the command sp underscore help user then go so it contains only one login name that is james the other two are default logins now i am going to grant select permission to the user james on table name emp command is grant permission name is select on we have to give the table name that is emp to which user that is james now we have granted the select permission on table emp to the user james we can verify that by running the command sp underscore help protect emp notice here only one user that is james is having select permission on the object name that is emp now we are going to grant update permission to the user kiran Notice here, a grant update on table name EMP to Kiran. Then go. If I enter this command, it will throw error. See, notice here the error is no such user or role Kiran exists. Why? Because first we have to add the user to this database by running the command sp underscore user Kiran. Then go. Now grant the permission update on emp to care then type go now we haven't received any error so we have granted select in update to the two different users now i am going to grant insert to the kiran and kalpesh first we have to add kalpesh user now grant permission to more than one user. Grant insert on EMP to Karen and Kalpesh. Now we have granted single permission to multiple users. Now I am going to grant delay permission to the Michael. Grant delay on EMP to Michael go again he has thrown error why because we have to add user to the database now grant delay on EMP to Michael Now we can grant multiple permission to the single user or more users. Grant select on EMP. Now we are taking different table that is DPT to Karen Kalpesh James Michael. Then go. Here we are granting a single permission to multiple users In the same way we can grant multiple permissions to multiple users 
grant insert delete and update on dept table to users kalpesh hiram michael and james so what we have done in this syntax we have granted these three permission to these users we can verify the list of the permission on this table by running the command sp underscore help protect and table name notice here these are the permissions granted to these users on this table in the same way sp underscore help protect emp notice here this user got select and this user got insert again kiran got two permission insert and update michael got only delete permission now we can verify james can use select statement on emp or not by exit from this isql tool and connect to cyber server use R2 schools because EMP table exists in R2 schools database. Select star from EMP, then go. Now we are able to run this select statement on EMP table with the user James. Now exit from this console, connect with the different user. Kiran. Now go to R2 schools. now run the select start from emp then go see we have received the error because this user kiran doesn't have select permission on this emp table we can verify that sp underscore help protect emp see here only james is having select permission but kiran doesn't have select permission on this emp table in the next video we will see how to revoke these permissions from the cybase table or cybase object for more cybase videos please subscribe my channel thank you